Hi there, I'm going to do a um, boot up comparison between the Raspberry, uh, sorry, the Pi Zero 2, the new one, and the original Pi Zero W. And uh, just see, kind of, uh, the only thing that I'm interested in is the boot up times, really. Uh, I know YouTubers have uh, all done all the tests already. They had the things like three weeks early, and they've done all the side by sides and the 4K streaming and the retro pie and da 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 da. But um, you know, I want to see for myself, and I wanted to see how it would have uh, how it would have affected, uh, say, the Simpsons TV project that I've just finished, or I did two of them, and uh, also the some of the other projects that I did this in the last three months. So I've, done, I've used five Pi Ws, Pi Zero Ws in the last three months. So I mean, and and the boot up times was always a bit of a niggle with me. <laughs> Um, so we're going to see what happens, and uh, it's the uh, the primary software is Pi OS Lite, and then obviously all the stuff that was involved with the Simpsons uh, Simpsons TV, which wasn't a really a lot. It was just uh, you know starting up the player and playing a video. So I'm going to test it um, from power going to the Pi right until the first video plays and see see what the see what the comparison's like so let me just get this set up so this is the original pi zero w and we're going to boot this up first here we go and we're off this is a different screen by the way this is the um wave share 2.8 which is actually a really nice screen and probably would fill it fit into the project. I haven't tested it yet. Right, so 15 seconds. This one, well, we have got the little cursor there. So 20, 27. We haven't got anything yet. 30. Oh, wow. 32, 33. So we got uh, the just my boot up logo. Which doesn't slow things down, it's just, just on there as a bit of a placeholder. Waiting for the first video. It's pretty terrible, really. <clears throat> uh, well, I, I missed it by a fraction, um, but it was you know, 59 seconds, so it's just shy of, the, of a minute there. Now the thing does, uh, I mean, this is the original, if you followed uh, Bubba 447's setup process, this is what you would get. I mean, I did add the logo, but uh, it doesn't actually slow things down at all, so. There we go, so anyway. Right, now we've got the new Pi Zero 2. Uh, let's see how well this thing does. Um, I've just got to get the stopwatch up, so powering on now. Exactly the same software, just swap the card over. No changes. See, look at that. That uh, I mean, the logo came up a lot quicker. It's promising. Look at that. That is that's nuts. Thirty. So we've gone from fifty-nine seconds to thirty-two seconds. So it's fifty percent. Fast, or it's knocked 50% off the boot up time, which is fantastic. Now, I, I have tested it yesterday. Obviously, I want to make sure it worked. And uh, it also loads the, the new video almost instantly. So there's almost no space between the videos you'll see here. Well, that's a lot quicker. Trust me, that's, that's about 50% faster as well, the, the loading the video. So, you know, all in all, and this is not optimized at all. Uh, you could, I'm sure this could be shaved down uh, to boot up even faster. So, um, the only other thing I wanted to say was that uh, this this is a, actually a WaveShare 2.8 screen. So the original screen is um, 
isn't available anymore the original screen that he's got on his project but this is uh, the same size or a very very similar size a very nice quality screen the only drawback is it's it's quite expensive but it is available on Amazon and uh, Waveshare's own site and probably other places as well um, I've got to, I've got to actually flip Yeah, I've got to actually flip the screen, but as you can see, it does, it fits into the case. You could fit it into the case without, I mean, probably does need to modify the case a little bit, but you could fit it into the case without modification. Flipping the screen, by the way, is as dead easy as just a one line in the uh, startup config file. So I've just got to change that from a one to a three by the looks of it. Uh, but anyway, yeah, it's a really nice screen. Available. Um, I bought it from Amazon for... Thirty-seven pounds, which is uh, fairly horrendous, but you know I wanted one, and uh, I wanted to test it and just obviously tell people if it if it worked and it does. So yeah, if you're short of a screen, if you if you absolutely want to make this project and you've just been sitting there uh, rejected, dejected rather, if you're sitting there dejected and you uh, can't couldn't get a screen. Uh, this thing works, uh, but you are going to have to figure out how to use the software, which is not, it's not complicated at all. Oh yeah, thanks for watching.